Have you ever wanted to create family portraits that you could have as heirloom pieces for your home or to give as gifts? Hi, this is Carrie from Carrie Alves Art Studio, and one of the things that I see over and over again my students bringing in are old family photographs that they would love to turn into a piece of artwork. For this image, I've chosen a picture of my mother taken when she was only 22. And I start my image by creating a preliminary drawing called a construct. And I do this drawing on a separate piece of paper, which I will then transfer over to whatever surface I decide to do the finished image on. I transfer my drawing over to a piece of Stonehenge printmaking paper, and I decide that I'm going to do this portrait in charcoal. I establish a base drawing using carbon pencil, which acts as a simple graphic foundation in which to build the rest of my image on. I separate my lights from my darks in the facial area, and I also make sure that I'm really happy that everything is still accurate after the transfer. I then take loose charcoal in a charcoal pounce and establish my darks within the image. Using a kneaded eraser, I go back in and pick out the highlights of the hair, creating a soft, sort of painterly atmospheric look to the charcoal. Then I go back in and using a charcoal pencil, I begin working up the drawing itself, first establishing my darkest darks around the face. I keep building my darks layer upon layer, taking the time to brush and blend between each layer until I start getting the effect that I want. As I keep building my darks, eventually I switch over from a charcoal pencil to a Neatrim charcoal stick, which allows me to really create deep, rich blacks. I go back into the face area and begin doing basically the same process of building up my darks and brushing and blending in between layers. Only this time, I'm using very small little brushes and I also use a very sharp piece of white chalk in order to make any corrections in my shapes. You'll notice how sharp my pencils are and how far I hold my pencil back. I'm using a very light touch and I'm very careful to also build my image layer upon layer. I'm also careful to work my edges and blend them out using my brushes and a very light touch. If you like these videos or find them helpful, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below which videos you'd like to see me do. Having your values move from very dark darks to light lights makes for a very interesting and dynamic image. And it really helps to pull off a picture very successfully. This is why charcoal is such a great medium to use in this regard. You'll notice how dark the shadows are, even in the facial area. I'm going into very deep blacks. This is something I see students really hold back on. It's almost like they're afraid to sort of ruin the picture by going too dark. But eventually you learn that you need to actually have that deep, rich range of values in order to pull off an image successfully. As I come down the home stretch of this image, I'm really interested in maintaining attention of this play of opposites, not only with the range of values, but also with how I handle my finishes, with the loose painterly hair against the high finish of the features of the face. I really enjoyed working on this image. It's one that I've wanted to do for a long time. I hope this has given you some ideas for some family portraits for yourself, and they make wonderful gifts, and people love getting them. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.